What's going on? This is Magic Mitch and it is day 56, challenge number 35 of this food challenge tour across the UK and Europe. And in this video, I'm eating a giant bowl of beef goulash. And we've got some special folks here in attendance, including the dairy demolisher himself, Stu Rodredeem, along with some of his friends and super special guest, Mama Redeem. Can't say enough wonderful things about her. She's just a sweet lady. And then you've also got Shelly Santel, who all you need to know is that her push-ups are pretty painful to watch. But anyways, for this food adventure, I'm not even really going to attempt to pronounce the full name of it, so we're just calling it Corvana. But it is here at Corvana in Ostrava of the Czech Republic that I'm taking on their Jumbo Goulash Eating Challenge. Now for this food challenge, you've got a giant bowl of goulash. Essentially goulash is a beef and gravy stew, usually with some sort of variety of vegetables sprinkled in there. Like in this case, there's some onions and such. And then you've also got some spices in there too. And it's actually a pretty common dish in Central Europe. And I believe that the origins are from Hungary. This giant bowl of goulash is also served with bread, which you also have to finish in order to complete the challenge. Now if you're able to do this within the 30 minute time limit, you are rewarded with a free meal which costs 419 Czech corns, which comes out to about $18, which isn't too bad at all. You also get a thousand Czech corn voucher to use at the restaurant later. And with that being said, I'm giving this challenge a thumbs up in terms of the setup because just by itself, it's a solid challenge. It's a unique challenge and the amount of food is just right for the time limit. And I've mentioned this particular aspect about it in previous videos, but I would personally love to see more challenges like this, especially since it's relatively easy to make and relates more to traditional local cuisine. And also the fact that you just won't burn an absolute hole in your wallet if you fail a challenge is pretty nice too. And I love the fact that it's part of the six challenge gauntlet series where if you're able to go to all six challenges within the various restaurants located around the Czech Republic and beat them within a six month period, you get a 10,000 Czech corn voucher to use at any of the restaurants, which is a pretty cool aspect of food challenges I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else. As far as the strategy goes on this one, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's one of those pretty straightforward ones. Just go to town and take it down. But not that it mattered a whole lot, but I was trying to get more of the meat pieces finished first, so I did try to use the slotted spoon I have in order to pick out those pieces of meat, but I also wanted to use that big old ladle for at least a little bit because, uh, first of all, why not? It was pretty fun to use. But also, I wasn't quite ready to just start aggressively slurping down all that gravy, especially since that bowl did have some weight to it. And as for the bread, I was actually trying to hold off from using it until later on into the challenge, but man, I gotta say, that goulash was hitting me with all kinds of flavor fatigue. Which, by the way, brown gravy, I'm not opposed to it, it's just that I'm not the biggest fan of it, which might come as a surprise to you because there isn't much out there that I'm not a fan of. And that's going to bring us to today's question of the day, which is, are there any foods that you don't like? And I actually had to think about this for a while because I don't think there's a whole lot out there I just really don't like. I mean, sure, I have preferences, but there isn't much out there that I'm just totally against, at least that I can think of. And the few things that immediately come to mind are, number one, corn dogs, which if you don't know why, you can check out a link down below which will give you a better understanding of why I'm not a big fan of corn dogs. Something else I'm not a fan of is, uh, I believe it's called the candied cuttlefish, which is an absolute nonsense snack. Not even sure if that's what it was actually called, but it was a snack that I had while in Asia where it was basically like chewy pieces of fish that were coated in essentially would be rock candy. Ugh, gross! Then also, I'm uh, not a fan of durian fruit, which, which is more of a common fruit in Southeast Asia. You might have heard of it before since it does have a notoriously horrible smell, which is why it's literally banned in various hotels, airports, and areas around Southeast Asia. And of course, let's not forget the most overhyped and biggest letdown I've ever had in my food adventures, Jaffa Cakes. And I'm sure there's others out there that I can't think of at the moment, so drop a comment down below about a particular food or snack or what have you, and I'll be happy to respond. Now, after thinking about all those foods I despise, I gotta say, this goulash, it's not sounding too shabby anymore. <laughs> with that being said, I was getting absolutely hammered with all those super savory and salty flavors. So when I needed, I did change up the flavors by using the bread. I mean, you basically got like a whole mini loaf of it anyways. But I was hoping that once I finished with the bread, it would just come down to some good old chugging and slugging to get all that gravy down. And when that time comes, I like to do this thing where I essentially just start shutting off my brain and going into autopilot mode. It's something that I found to be quite helpful, especially when I know I'm going to struggle due to flavor fatigue. 
Speaking of flavor, in terms of this challenge, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up with a bit of an asterisk when it comes to the taste. Now I'm giving it that asterisk because, as for myself, I wasn't too keen on the savory flavors and all the sodium, which, I don't know if you noticed, I just been sweating like an absolute fiend during this thing. But I did enjoy the bits and meat, and the bread wasn't half bad. But the major reason why I'm giving this a thumbs up is because, regardless of any of my preferences, overall, I think this is a quality challenge. And I honestly believe that a majority of people who will try it will like it. Especially anyone who's already a big fan of goulash themselves. And to be honest, I'd probably enjoy this a whole lot more as part of a meal with a normal sized portion of it. And especially if I just wasn't sweating my absolute bag off the entire time either. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta make do with the situation at hand. And regardless of all of that, I'm still very grateful I was able to embark on this food adventure and enjoy this unique experience. Now while I bust out my post-challenge victory push-ups with Randy's sister Shelly, who has, oh, god-awful form. <laughs> Which, by the way, if the push-up police ever want to come back and be critical of my form, I'll gladly redirect them to this portion of the video. And if you enjoyed watching this food adventure, why stop now? Embark on another one, and I'll see you there.